my name is Dominic Fernacci. I'm a trumpet player, and I'm here with the Tommy LaPuma bobblehead. <laughs> Always grooving. Man, that's uh, that's what Tommy was about. And I had the, the pleasure of, of knowing him since I was 15 years old. And I can't count the amount of times that I went to his place in upstate New York and just hang out in his music room for eight, ten hours straight just listening to music. And we shared a love of music at, across all different genres and generations. Um, we'd always come back to one artist in particular, Clifford Brown. I say Clifford for me was, is one of the number one musical influences on, on my playing. And Tommy grew up playing jazz, he was a saxophone player, and he's always loved Clifford Brown as well. Uh, so we had a special connection. We listened to probably every Clifford recording there is and we'd break down in incredible detail about what we loved about this recording so much, from Clifford's beautiful sound to his sense of melody and phrasing, to his detailed articulation and nuance, to his technical capacity. It's nothing but the highest level of artistic excellence. And when I think of Tommy, I think of artistic excellence. That was his kind of guiding star. That's, that was his, his ultimate goal. And it's evident that everything in his life and his career was really guided by artistic excellence and having the opportunity to um, have him produce my last album short stories where he got to bring in uh, some of his team members that they've been working together for decades and one in particular um, Al Schmidt um, wonderful engineer um, to see them work together and to see the level of artistic excellence that they were dealing with both on the artistic side and also on the production side was really invaluable and incredibly inspiring. So Tommy and I would listen to all different kinds of music all, all, all the time. And, you know, we loved tracing back the lineage of, of, of jazz music. And we always got to Louis Armstrong, who was my number one inspiration for playing this music. I heard a recording of Louis Armstrong playing, singing and playing uh, Kiss to Build a Dream on. And I said, man, I want to sound like this. I want to know everything about this recording. And that started me on a very long journey of, of developing a, a life in, uh, in, in this music of jazz. Uh, so I'm grateful for Tommy uh, for, for so many reasons. And considering we're here at the Jill and Tommy LaPuma Center for Creative Arts, uh, a center that's focused on artistic excellence, um, I think that's the best piece of advice I can give to, uh, to young musicians coming up through our, through our uh, community here is that if you focus on that, if you focus on artistic excellence, everything else will fall into place. And ultimately, that was what was Tom, what Tommy was about, and uh, it's one of my greatest sources of inspiration. And in being fortunate enough to to be welcomed into the life of Tommy Lapuma. So, in the spirit of Clifford Brown, here is a Clifford Brown influenced piece. <laughs> 